All right. It's five o'clock. It's the hmm, the seventh of October. I hope you're enjoying your Oktoberfest. It's time for another session of Watch Me Work. I'm SLP. We've been doing Watch Me Work for like 15 years. We started out in the lobby of the public theater. And then when COVID came, we moved on to Zoom. And we've been here. And I think we'll stay here because it's so much fun. We have been supported all this time by the Public Theater and by Howl Round. Thank you to both of those places. Mwah. Um, so what we'll do, we do what we do every week. We are going to work together for 20 minutes, and then we will talk about your work and your creative process. And if you have a question about your work and your creative process, you can ask me the questions. And I'll find the answer somewhere in here. Um, and Hannah from New Work Development is going to tell us how to get in touch if you should have a question. Go, Hannah. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so after the 20-minute working period, if you have a question for SLP, what you can do is use the raise your hand function at the bottom of your little Zoom menu, and then we will um, let you ask your question. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. It's that easy. It's just that easy. Okay, so the, the, the most fun part comes right now. We're gonna work for 20 minutes, here we go.
Okay. It's that time. It's that wonderful time where we get to talk about your work and your creative process. If someone to have a question, Hannah's gonna, Zoe's gonna, somebody who knows how to do that is gonna help us get in touch with each other. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, just a friendly reminder, if you have a question, please go ahead and use the raise the hand function at the bottom of your Zoom screen, and then we will get a nice cue going so that we can call on names um, in an orderly fashion. Thank you. Zoe, can we congratulate you on being in a play right now? Or are we allowed to say that? Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> we give you applause. We give you applause. You're not only a fabulous performer, but you're a fabulous writer. So look at you. Got it coming and going, girlfriend. All right. Hi, Marianne. Please go ahead and um, ask your question. Thank you. Thanks, Zoe. Hi, SLP. Hey. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank Here's. You. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Here's my thing right now. I'm having trouble <laughs> just getting it all out, just letting it out, just letting it out. Why do I have to? read the paragraph that just came out and then rearrange and try to the most minute things instead of how do I just let it blurt out without feeling that need to return constantly. It's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. I hear you. We've been there. We've been there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I hear you because cause may maybe because you want it to be good. You know? <laughs> right and i'm not gonna say like don't care it doesn't matter if it's any good because it does matter lord have mercy of course it matters um so of course you want it to be good um i uh there might be some strategies that we could we could give you that might allow you to you know work on it being good but maybe not right now okay right, right. so uh, in my experience, the in, in writing, um, the the craft of writing, there's the craft of writing and then there's the craft of rewriting. And they're, in my experience, they're actually separate things. Yeah, okay. Right, 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 right. So, so um, in, in my experience, it helps to separate them. You know, I mean, like divvy them up a little bit. You know what I mean? So when you're writing, you're not rewriting. Right. <laughs> and then you're rewriting, you're rewriting. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. This feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so kind of so if you have like your writer self and then your rewriter self. I know this and this gets, you know, and if you kind of go, oh no, I'm only one person. Well, I don't know. Uh but you know, you're right, you have your writer self and you're just gonna let it flow and let it go. Okay. Okay, and that's your job. So this it's a little it's a little game. And and those of you who have been on here for a while have probably heard me play this little game. I play it with I play it by myself all the time. So what, Marianne, is your uh if I would say um the desert or a pine forest or a jungle, which would you pine choose? forest, pine forest. Pine piney woods, the piney woods. Okay, okay, great. Okay, so when you are when you are writing in your writer self, you are in the pine wood, piney woods, right? You can smell the piney smell, you know? Notice it's your fate, it's your choice, right? So it, so those of you who are saying, well, I want the jungle. Well, then you do the thing with the jungle, okay? But but for Marianne, she's, she's doing the piney. So you smell the piney smell 
And the trees, you know, they're, that sound they make when they do their piney thing. And maybe there's a, there's a, the hills or mountains or whatever. And you're sitting like on a rock, you know, maybe in the sunshine, maybe there's some pine needles around or pine cones. And you're smelling those smells and you're feeling very nice here. And it's like anything goes and everything grows. Mm. And you're just letting yourself be like, you know, have you ever been uh, to, uh, I, the redwoods aren't pine trees, but they're kind of connect. Anyway, how they grow, you know, they're all like one tree, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Like anything goes, everything grows. And there you are in the middle of this beautiful piney forest. And you're just being in communion with those your 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 other versions of yourself right mm -hmm. okay and you're and everything you write down is right mm. right every like all the pine needles it's all good right okay mm -hmm. so you when you write that's how you you want to be you want to take yourself to the pine forest because that is your favorite you know the ones we discussed and and mm. you just let yourself be wonderful and and accepted and perfect and surrounded by your people, the pine trees, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, so that's that, right? And so when you go there, that's where you go, okay? And now the question is, here's another question. Here's for your rewriter self. And, and they get to be, they get to have a little different. Uh, so if I gave you some colors, choose, choose one. White, gray, brown, or black gray gray fantastic okay and if i gave you a um oh what's like just off the top of your head you know whatever what's your favorite song right now uh chapel roan's um good luck babe there you go okay so you're on a gray horse mm. and you're and you have in your hand what hand are you dominant right 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 hey okay. so you have in your right hand the sword of discrimination. Now that's not, you know, discrimination. It's the sword to tell you like what should stay in and what should stay out, right? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. not okay, okay. We know what that would be like. So you have in your hand the sword of discrimination. And you're on your gray, beautiful horse, right? And you're you've got your song playing for you, which I can't remember now because I'm thinking of that gray horse. But you got you, you got your song playing and you're playing your song and you're wielding your sword as you ride through over the landscape and you are cutting everything that doesn't need to be there. Mm. The great thing about this under these magical circumstances is when you cut these things like not not people like lopping off the heads of beautiful flowers, right? And oh, it's cool. They fly and they land in the field where they grow into something else. <laughs> you know, you're just you're just you're just you know you're just taking care of business. You're just editing. Right. And it's fun and it's very vibrant and it's very different from writing. Airy, yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that's your, that's your, that's your, what music would you, would you have when you're in the piney forest? Oh gosh. I would have, I would have anything instrumental, honestly. Anything instrumental, like who, what? Oh gosh. I'll go with Oscar Peterson first off the top of my head. Oscar Peterson off the top of your fantastic. So you put on some Oscar Peterson and that is your cue to go into the piney woods. Nice. Okay. And so also a timer really helps, which is why we use timers here. Notice I use this kind. I mean, not this kind, but I don't use this kind. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. So when we use a timer, right? Don't use this kind. Cause this is like, Oh, who's Instagram. You know, whatever. <laughs> no, okay. This you use just the timer. Okay. And you can give yourself 20 minutes to work. Okay. Okay. Oscar Peterson and just write. I like to write till I get to kind of the end, you know, before I start editing, but everybody's different. You can write for 20 minutes and then edit for 20 minutes. Mm. And then that's your writing for the day or for your writing period. And then you go on and do whatever else you have to do. Okay. Yes. That is excellent news. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> totally possible. I know. It's it's sometimes we have to 
you know, just know what we're dealing with, you know? Yeah. I enjoy that. I enjoy those pieces. Great and course. Wear those great hats. Course. Yeah. And anybody else, if you got, you know, you can choose your own color. You got, got your own horse. The horse is into being in the exercise. We're not going to harm it, them, whatever. The sword is a sort of discrimination. It's all good. And it's your music and it's your jungle, desert, forest, whatever. You can just do that. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. It really works. I know. I've been writing for a long time. <laughs> Thank you. Great question. Thank you, Marianne. Jed, you can go ahead and ask your question. Hi, hi, SLP. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you. Um, any insights on, I'm going to ask kind of a, a two question. Uh, any insights on writing for solo performance? Mm. And I'd love to hear how you oriented yourself to write lyrics. I'm in a place in a play where I'm I'm using a copyrighted piece, but I see an opportunity if I, you know, get inspired. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on those two things. Ooh, how exciting, Jed. You're always up to something cool. Okay. Writing for solo performance. Are you the performer? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, oh good. So you get to like, you get to try everything out. You get to, it, it's going to go through your body. Correct. Oh, that's good. I, I mean, it's, oh, what a delight. I, I think uh, it's important always to remember, and this is, so remember what the character wants, not you, <laughs> not Jed, but remember what the character wants, right? So remember what mm -hmm. they're, you know, the same kinds of things we think of when we're writing, you know, like for, uh, you know, other people. Uh, what does the character want more than anything? What are they reaching for? Um, ask questions like how do they change over the course of the piece? You know, what did they know? What do they know at the end that they didn't know at the beginning? Things like that, you know? Um, sometimes when you're writing for yourself, it can, you forget, you know, kind of where you are, where you're at with it. Mm -hmm. So those kind of guidelines are super helpful. Um, also, you know, what delight. I mean, I, I get excited because it's your, it's going to be you up there, you know, and you're going to have fun. It's terrifying, frankly, but uh, oh. I, I have zero background uh, performing, uh -oh. uh, but I have a lot of support. Um, I benefit from a dramaturg and a couple of um, movement and voice choreographers. So I feel supported. So it's not mm -hmm. jumping off a cliff. I right. worry about remembering a whole show's lines even though mm -hmm. i've written them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. never had to do that kind of memorization before wow it's going to be great it is i feel it's all i mean i i get excited for you i'm getting excited for you like i'm your mom or something oh honey you know but I appreciate it, that. it's it's well it's thrilling because you're stretching yourself you're stepping a little bit outside of your comfort zone and, and not foolishly because you have a support group you know what i mean mm -hmm. but it's so important for us you know especially if you've done you know one thing fairly well you know which i'm guessing you have because here you are and you're still living and i unless you're in your mother's still rooming in your mother's basement <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know what i'm saying i mean when you get to a certain point you're like hey you know i'm good at some things i'm going to extend myself so I'm very excited for you and proud of you because we can, you know, we all get stuck in ruts. So, so good on you for that. I would say, oh, things like 
Oh, you're going to memorize it. I, I, oh, I had a, a friend teach me. How she had it. Her name is Zoe Winter. She's a fabulous actress. And I was doing plays for the play gear. And I'm like, Zoe, it's three hours long. I'm on stage for three hours. What am I going to do? She said to me to read the script. Once the script is written, read the script and give yourself your cues. And then give yourself a chance to say the cues in the spaces, like a recording. You know? So Okay, so, I need I'm, an example. Yeah, I'm so your, green. Yeah. No, space. it's okay. Ask your actor friends. It's like if, oh, if okay. you, you would read the script, right? And then when it comes to your turn to, well, well you mean like a read the stage direction, for example. Right. And you would you would say it. Also, re record it and just say it over and over. Have it over and over and over in your oh. head. Like that, like okay. a recording, like a like if you memorize a like song, like an audio book. Yeah, 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 like an audio. Yeah, okay. Going all the time. Also, it helped me memorizing lines. I would attach the line to a gesture, and people watch. Oh, a mnemonic. No, yeah, yeah. Well, like a, a gesture, like like if I had to like walk across the stage, I had a whole list of things I had to say, and I would attach it like basket is connected to Queen Elizabeth. I know. Don't ask me why, but that's what would happen. And I would go and pick up the basket and it was time for me to say Queen Elizabeth. Um, so a lot of times you can do that by connecting your gestures. It's a, it's a actors. And if anybody's Grotowski, no, is that, am I just talking out of my ass? There are acting techniques that attach um, gestures to lines and aid in mm -hmm. memory. It's That's a, a great kind of tip. Mnemonic. It's kind of like a mnemonic device, except it's with your body. Mm -hmm. um, That's really helpful. Thank so, you. Yeah. And just and just rehearse a lot. Just be all up in it. You know, that's what I would do. I would be shamelessly sort of repeating my lines, walking around the house and stuff. Um, get a good prompter. Uh, Springsteen, when he was on Broadway, had a teleprompter. I would I want I went to watch him and I was watching him and I probably the only person horribly in the audience who was turning around watching his teleprompter while he was talking and going this is really cool look at him um so you could have a teleprompter too mm -hmm. but and I guess it's not out of the question to have a music stand with your manuscript or whatever for okay all right I feel better now yeah, and just make sure your music stand is, is positioned at an angle where it's kind of more flat so it doesn't block your beautiful self. I see. Okay, good so tip. Little, you know, a little like, like you know, like this, more than like mm -hmm. this. Oh, like yeah, this, of course. A little bit, you know? Uh-huh. So it's uh -huh. not cutting my body. So it's not cutting okay. Your, people can see and and yeah. thoughts about the so, writing, uh, lyric writing? Yeah, do you play uh, an instrument? I don't. <laughs> do, you, do you do you like to sing? I mean, do you do you sing? I like to hum, right. <laughs> which is annoying okay. for everyone you know, else. That's your instrument, right? That your voice. So you mm -hmm. could you could um, if you're writing lyrics, you're gonna write the 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 music too. You could. I suppose so. You could because you, you have. I'm sure you have a phone. This is what is good. For uh huh. You. Voice yeah. memo. Right? I'm just singing to the phone. Singing to the phone. Okay. On one of my walks. There you go. Singing oh, okay. to the phone on one of your walks. And then listen to it and then write it down. Maybe you have a friend who can who can play some of the chords, you know, that that, that would be what you're singing, you know? Mm -hmm. Get a little help that way. Um, yeah, sing it to the phone on one of your walks. Okay. I'll give it a try and let you know how it goes. I like lyrics that, you know, you know what I mean? Some people like lyrics that sound just like talking and they never rhyme and it's like this. And I'm yeah. yeah. Thing. I like lyrics that do like this, you know, come right. on. Right. Right. You know. It needs to be a banger and I have not the first clue. Well, but. listen to some bangers. Listen to yeah. some. Yeah. And because that's how we learn a, a lot mm -hmm. of times. We learn by, by you know, we, we study those who have done it already. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for the tip. Um, congratulations. Thanks. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Thanks, Jed. Thank you, Jed. Caitlin, feel free to ask your question. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, Caitlin. I can't hear you, darling. 
Can anybody hear her? I can't hear her. It's okay. Uh, you were muted. Now you're. I believe the AirPods died, possibly. Oh. Those AirPods. Can you just like talk into your computer? Is that allowed? Did you have those plastic, that plastic bag from like last week? How's it going? Oh, okay, we'll talk about it. Hold on, we can we can hold on. Your AirPods, oh, those AirPods, man. Don't get me started about Apple. Planned obsolescence, baby. Mm, mm. My oh, hold on. Okay, um, can uh, you're typing this? Yeah, in the yeah, we, we can we can read it out loud. So Caitlin said, "My question is, I have a character I have been working on for three years. I know my story is ending, but am having major hiccups in the first act." You have a character you've been working on for three years. You know your story is ending, but what? Say that again, Zoe, please. But I'm having major hiccups in the first act. Oh. So. What should I do? Oh. <laughs> end, oh of <laughs> end of question. <laughs> okay. 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 Great. Okay. I would. Um. Yeah. So. So. So you've been working on it for three years. You're coming to an end of it, and you're having major hiccups in the first act. I would say this is. The moment when you go back after you, when you get to the end, you can go back and rewrite. Unless you hate rewriting. No, you don't like rewriting. Oh. I rewrite. Lord have mercy. I mean, not everybody does. Some people I don't hate rewriting. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> every every gesture, every action tells something about the character, including this moment right now. Anybody. Just nothing is coming in terms of conflict to get us there. I think you guys are having a difficult time communicating. I think you're making it harder for them to get in touch with you than it needs to be. Can you pour more love on them and more love on yourself? Sometimes our characters are shy. They don't know if we really want to listen to what they have to say. Honestly, Caitlin, are you still typing to me? Because I am not reading in the chat. No. Okay, hon. If it were a dream, what would that have meant? Jonathan, is that you? Are you the next in the queue? I I guess so. Hey, hi hey, there. Hey, how's it going? It's hi, good. everyone. Great to see you. Great to see you too. Um, so my question basically is, um, I've never hit this problem in the writing process before. This is actually early on in the process. I've come to a point where I'm like, I can't figure out what like the through line what like the spine of this story is mm -hmm. um i f usually i work on characters first when i'm like writing something and um this time i just i wanted to try writing with plot first just because mm -hmm. i know people have different ways of doing it and i'm really struggling with it i've gone back and you know tried to like write things with the characters um so i'm sort of like i've hit a wall i feel like if uh -huh. you have anything to comment on that uh-huh 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 yeah um Great question. And I really, it's admirable that you, you know, you, you try, you said you tried usually writing through character. And now you're trying to write something through plot. So you're trying something new or you're trying it in a new way, which is pretty cool. Um, I quite honestly, I don't see a difference between character and plot. They're the same to me um, because character is plot is character, but 
I understand what you're what you're what you're saying. Um, have you are you clear about what your characters want? So I have a character who isn't like I'm trying to make I guess this is where I get weird. I have a character who doesn't know how to come to terms with what he wants. And it's sort of kind of describing what that want is. He maybe he wants to have a clear want in life. I don't know if that makes sense. It's sort of about someone who's lost and it's he's a he's a passive character, but I'm trying to find ways to make him active, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's a passive character, like like for example, he's he's let's just pretend he's somebody who who sits at home a lot or all the time. Right. Hundred percent. He's someone who needs someone to get him to do something usually. Great. Great. What does he do on his own? Doing, uh, he's like a comedy nerd. He watches stuff on TV. He, he's passionate about things, but he doesn't act upon that. Great. Great. So he's like, I don't know, like Rupert Pupkin or something. I don't know. I'm just pulled that <laughs> name out of my anyway. It's a it's a it's a character in a movie. Um, he, he, right. So he's he's passionate, but he's pa he's passionate about things, but he doesn't <laughs> act on anything. Could you say, Jonathan, that he's scared? Yes. Great. So he's so so if I may, I mean so he might he 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 appears passive. Actually underneath that passivity is fear. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's different, right? That already sounds so much different. He's scared. I mean, like if 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 a character Martha wanted to fall in love, but she was afraid to leave the house. She, her mom would say, Martha, you never leave the house. You're passive. But really inside Martha's scared, right? And then you have, to me, I'm already feeling a great amount of compassion for this character of yours that I've never met. Because it's, he, they're afraid of what and why. And it's very beautiful. Does that help? The char sometimes characters are very shy, and they want to be pleasing, or at least interesting, because they came all this way. And you're kind enough to listen to them, and they don't want to disappoint. And they're just hoping that they'll make it into your play, or your novel, or your poem, or your song, or your chore piece of choreography, or your nonfiction piece or whatever it is that you're making they're just like please please take me in and maybe they're just scared can you feel a little bit more about your character now Jonathan yeah that that helps so much I don't know why I couldn't think of that like I, I that helps so much thank you <laughs> It's okay. It's a very beautiful question. And we all, yeah, because sometimes when our characters aren't coming forth, you know, we're like, <clears throat> like that. And that's okay. That's okay. But sometimes we talk about it with friends and then we, you know, hear something else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Lou, do you want to ask your question? Hi. I do. Hey, good to see you. Thank you. How you doing? Um, How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing right. I want to say, first of all, my original question was Marianne's question exactly. So like right on to the universe for putting me where I needed to hear that answer. Um, and then Caitlin's question, pour more love on your characters and on yourself, I think it's just like, I'm going to tape that up in my desk because immediately everything just got bright. But I actually have a question I want to ask in addition to those points, which is, I'm in a really interesting part in my process. I shared last time that I have a book contract on my project, which is unfolding and happening with Little Brown Publishers. And that's where I will be. And it's thrilling, thank you. So I can finally speak on it. I know, <laughs> same. So here I am um, and my agreement with my new editor is that I'm gonna deliver my book, which I sold on proposal as a reminder. So I'm, and I have a huge outline and all the details, but I'm putting the meat on the bones in five chunks and I'm set to deliver my first chunk in two weeks and a few days. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's 
unbelievable still. Um, but it's great. And some days I wake up and I'm like, I got this. I got this. I got this. I have my 20 minutes. I have my this. I have my, you know, I have everything. I have SLP in my head. And some days I'm like, what have I done? You know, the worst, the worst. And this is the question that I really do want to sort of put to you, which is like, I'm starting to, I find myself at times thinking about my editor as some kind of like boss or like mom or like the pleasing, like the old pleasing stuff and not I'm like having a hard time. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, she's a partner and she's already seen my value. And so we have, a, but I guess the question is, if I could distill it is like, how do you walk into new working relationships with people when you're already kind of like, in a, I mean, if I had dreamt two years ago that I had this opportunity, I, I think it was like so unbelievable, right? It's what I dreamed of. And now I'm here and I'm finding ways to like muck it up and da, 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 da. Mm. So we're already starting from a place where she sees promise in the project. She wants to bring it in. It's, it's like, it's a positive place, but I still find myself like, how can I sort of begin this process from like, I believe in what I'm doing and I'm open to feedback and I, and I want it and I'm excited for this partnership, but like, I do feel a little grovelly, like as I'm starting to think about how I'm going to position what I'm sending. And I, I don't know, I just want to talk about the like, and I think about everyone here listening to like, we all, well, not we all, but many people want to have be produced or like, what is that thing when you walk into a room with a new partner? Like, how do you hold your own and like stand up tall, but still be open and not be afraid to kind of get cut through or cut down? I don't know. I'm just trying to find my stance. It's like a I can't find it. So that's what's going on. I adore you. What a be oh, oh, I'm like, yeah, what a great question. Thanks, SLP. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Yeah. I mean, r just right up. First and foremost, I mean, this is something, an answer, you know, something for all of us. Be mindful of what comes out of your mouth about yourself mm. so things that you say like i'm already mucking it up you know be my be mm. you know get up in the morning and i know you do this already you know let us rejoice and be glad just just as much as you can and i do this a lot i work with a lot of different kinds of people you know what i mean some are some are awesome partners some are yeah challenging you know you know but i'm really work in the mental game you know what I mean I'm really working the mental game as much as I can almost to the point where I probably am annoying but that's what it takes I really work the mental game let's mm -hmm. all just work that mental game because you know I mean like like last time I was reading this but you know this the stoic book you know what does it say don't hope that events will turn out your way uh, welcome events whichever way they happen you know you know the stoic I mean this old stuff this isn't new stuff people call it new age you know it ain't new age it's old age you know what I mean just find as many flood your mind your heart your mouth when you do they there's passages in and I say Bible because that's the book the spiritual tome that I am most familiar with but any of the spiritual books any of that old wisdom talks about how your mouth your tongue is your rudder what you say is how it goes so just wrap yourself in all the love that that you encounter all the time I mean Girl, you got this far. You didn't get this far just to be cast aside on the sidelines of shit. You put little no. friends on my girlfriend. Come on, right? Okay, so just, and that's why I say these things in, in Watch Me Work and in class. Jonathan knows it, NYU. And because we don't often hear enough encouragement. I mean, the world is full of, yeah, good, 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 good. you know what I'm saying, right? We don't hear enough of the encouragement. And in my experience, I do my best work when I'm in agreement with God. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I can do this. You know, I can do this. I got this. I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to do. This. And it's not, you're not just sitting out back, you know, with your feet up on the desk, saying affirmations and hoping that magically your shit going to get done. That's not what we're talking about. 
right? You are doing the work. You've talked about how you've done the work. You've mm -hmm. been here for so many years during Watch Me Work. You've got, okay? So just, you know, any spiritual book, any, mm -hmm. any books that give you, that remind you of who you are, not give you, remind you of who you are. You're doing your thing. And the great thing about when you do your thing, it's going to encourage all of us to do mm. our thing. It's not just like for you, some like, you know, greedy, selfish thing, right? You're We're counting on you. We're counting on all of you. We're counting on everybody here to do your thing so that we will be then, you know, leaning forward into the beautiful gorgeous thing that is the universe mm -hmm. so we're counting on you no pressure <laughs> none felt at all <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i do so i do your your i'm sorry i almost said producer your, your editor is your partner they are there to help you walk with you on the path yeah you know what I mean? And they're probably shy too. Oh no, she's Lou's this awesome writer and I'm just this editor and I got to You know, they're going through their own thing. We would say mm. to them too, come on, editor, come on. You know, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're partnering with you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a joyous, joyous thing. It doesn't mean go into it without humility. You know, it doesn't mean going into it without know-it-all or like, I know some people who do not take notes. I take all the notes and I say, all the notes are great. They're yeah. all going to help me get there. I, just say shit. I say all kinds of hypnotic, crazy ass shit. <laughs> but if it gets me through another day, I'll say it. I'll do it. Mm. If it brings joy and love to people. I'll do it. Mm. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not afraid of the notes. I, I'm with you though. I feel like she's going to make me better. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get them. And, and I want to come in on my feet too. You know what I mean? Like both. Well, you say I come in on my feet. I come yeah. in strong. I got this. Yeah. You know, I, I, I am doing the work. I, I will take the notes and they will be helpful. I might not agree with them all. I don't have to like slavishly I take them all down. I'm not saying that way, but you, you welcome them in. Yeah. Take what you like and leave the rest. Like the program says, right? So, mm -hmm. but you, you, anything you want, Lou, just say it. Like if you say, I want to come in on my feet, right? You say, mm -hmm. wow, thank you spirit for helping me come in on my feet. Mm -hmm. I want to feel good in the meeting. Wow. Thank you spirit for helping me feel good in this meeting. I feel great in this meeting. You see, is, is that, I mean, I know it's corny and I know it's 2024, but it is a powerful thing that really works in my experience. Mm, thank you. Yeah. And Her. always ask that question. If you feel it next week or the week after whatever, ask it again, because we need to hear it, you know, many, many times every day. Mm, uh, the, the, yeah. the way the world is set up, you know, we are encouraged to be to believe ourselves to be much less than we are. Mm. And, and, and that's just not, it's so not true. We're so beautiful and strong and powerful and awesome. And well, you help, you help me remember that. So I'm so grateful. Well, Thank you. SLP. That's my job. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone love else you. here too. We Thank you. you. We love you. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Yeah, see, it, see, look, it's six, it's six o'clock. It's a, are we? And next week is Indigenous Peoples Party. Indigenous People's Day. Day. Yes. Yes. Indigenous People's Day. So we will be grateful to our Indigenous peoples and the Indigenous peoples in ourselves. And do your work. It's the best thing. Okay. We love you all so much. Thank you for all your awesome questions. Recording has stopped. So we're going to jet. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye.